Today in the United States, almost 30 million people are living with diabetes. Approximately 40% of people with diabetes are uncontrolled. And here in New Mexico, it's a major problem. We don't have enough endocrinologists to meet the rising demand. And the people who suffer mostly from this, unfortunately, are those whose care is very complex. It's very challenging for primary care clinicians to, to keep pace with emerging diabetes therapies and, and technologies. The thing that makes the patients challenging is not complex insulin regimens, but the thing that makes the primary care clinicians designate these people as challenging is the complexity of their psychosocial barriers that can also affect care. So things such as depression, which is very common in patients with diabetes, and financial barriers, which is also very common in underserved communities. And these things can negatively affect diabetes management. About 10 years ago, I went to the hospital for pneumonia. While I was there, they found out I was diabetic and probably had been for a little while. I had a real hard time adjusting to it, a very hard time. I fought it and I fought it and I fought it the way I felt suffered. These are, are very common challenges and can be very difficult for a primary care clinician to tackle alone. But these patients can be effectively managed by a multidisciplinary intervention. ECHO is an innovative healthcare delivery model that uses simple video conferencing technology to connect frontline community providers to specialists here at the medical center. Through continued mentorship of, of the providers, they acquire new skills that allow them to treat patients who they otherwise would have referred out. So here at the Hub, we have the specialist panel. So we have myself, I'm an adult endocrinologist, but we also have a pediatric endocrinologist, a kidney doctor, a pharmacist, a, a psychiatrist, a social worker, a community health worker, a registered nurse, a diabetes educator. So a variety of resources to really allow for us to make comprehensive recommendations when we're approaching a patient that's being presented. So that's the hub in this hub and spoke model, but at the spokes are the uh, community partners. So sites that we've partnered with where we've identified clinicians. And uh, for EndoEcho, we've partnered with nine federally qualified health centers. And at each of these centers, we've identified a clinician, so an MD or a, a physician assistant or a nurse practitioner with a, a specific uh, interest in developing their expertise in endocrinology and complex diabetes management. The ECHO model really is allowing us to be empowered by transfer of knowledge from specialists. We, in turn, are empowering our patients to better control and manage their disease and provide them with the support that they need to do that. EndoEcho is particularly beneficial for patients with type 1 diabetes. It can be very challenging for primary care clinicians to keep pace with emerging diabetes technologies such as insulin pump therapy and continuous glucose monitoring. And that's a, a large part of the, the curriculum of EndoEcho is in increasing the comfort level of primary care clinicians in, uh, in managing these devices, navigating the devices, and, and starting people on these devices. Partnered with each of these clinicians is a community health worker. And the community health worker is trained in motivating behavioral change, which is critical for these patients with, with diabetes. They're constantly worried, they're constantly stressing out, they're constantly having, you know, these negative things going on in their lives and they are not taking care of themselves because of all these things. So um, that's where I come in and try to offer them support and, you know, let them know that there are resources available, there is help available. and. Um, so that, you know, later on we can really focus on their health and their diabetes needs. They're learning through guided practice and, and case-based learning, which if you think about it is not unlike the kind of learning that specialists participate in in their, in their fellowships and in their residency. So it's a very effective learning tool. The relationship we have with the specialists through ECHO is a mentoring relationship. They're helping to train us to carry this information forward so that we can improve care, not only for the patients who are involved in the ECHO project, but for other patients who may not be. Medical knowledge and expertise are being shared in multiple directions, and new capacity for specialty care is being created by empowering primary care clinicians to do more for more patients. And we refer to that as the force multiplier effect. 
being with Project ECHO, here I am sitting at this table educating nine primary care providers, nine community health workers, all the other people who tune into our clinic, and that's, they're going out and providing that information to their patients. I really feel like I'm hitting 25, maybe even 30 people in any one given day. It's the most satisfying thing that I have ever done in my professional career so far. I would encourage those who are interested in replicating the EndoEcho model to contact us. We have a replication team that's dedicated just to this purpose and a variety of resources that are freely shared that can help you create your own EndoEcho program.